Now, as India breaks into the top 100 list of countries on ease of doing business, competitive federalism is prompting states to battle for business investments. One remarkable story is that of Chhattisgarh. And we have the honor of being joined by the principal secretary tonight to give his perspective on the role of states in ease of doing business in India. Please welcome on stage, Mr. Aman Singh. Over the years, the action has shifted from Mumbai, Delhi, and Bangalore to far off places like Raipur, Ranchi, Bhopal, Indore, Hyderabad, Trivandrum, etc. Against this backdrop, when this whole business of ease of doing business started, all the states today are now competing with each other to grab the attention of the industrialists, the entrepreneurs, the businessmen. Against this backdrop, a state like Chhattisgarh, which is still in its teens, barely 17 year old, has done a remarkable job and has stood number four in both the past two annual rankings. We are constantly trying to improve our performance and largely on account of an exemplary vision and leadership provided by our Chief Minister, Dr. Raman Singh. In fact, he told me two things, which is very important for all of us who are working in government sector. One, always focus on small entrepreneurs, small business. The second most important lesson which he gave to me was this whole concept of single window smells a colonial hangover of my bop concept because of which we introduce a new concept in Chhattisgarh which is called as a valet facility. In fact, as against a single window concept, when you come to invest in Chhattisgarh, we appoint one single officer, an IS officer, who is a single point of contact for you. You don't have to worry about a window or a door. But I think a systemic change is happening and EODB is one example of that. Our Prime Minister has taken a lead. Government of India has also made a strong jump from 130 to 100. So happy days are here again. Thank you very much. All right, it's now time to honor excellence in corporate leadership. Ten categories of awards will be handed out this evening. So let's now begin with the first set of awards. May I invite on stage the presenters for this set? Zia Modi, founder and senior partner, AZB and Partners, Adar Poonawala, CEO, Serum Institute of India, and Saurav Machudar. category this evening is Outstanding Startup. Here's a look at the nominees. The nominees for the Outstanding Startup are Freshworks, Grey Orange, Lenskart, Nika, Renew Power Ventures, and the winner is Renew Power Ventures. Receiving the award, Suman Sinha, Founder, Chairman and CEO, Renew Power Ventures. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Renew Power. Our next uh, nominees is for the category Conscious Capitalist. The nominees for the Conscious Capitalist are Equitas Holdings, Gru Finance, IFMR Capital, Jana Lakshmi Financial Services, Zoho Corp. And the winner is Zoho Corp. Mr. Sridhar Vembu, the founder, could not be with us this evening. May I call on state Mr. Rajendran Dandapani, the director of engineering, to collect the award on behalf of Mr. Vembu. Transformation leadership is leadership that causes something disruptive to happen. It takes what is there existing 
and totally changes it in a way that is very positive for the organization. Now look at the third category this evening, the award for Gen Next Entrepreneur. Here's a look at the nominees and who's taking this one home. The nominees for the Gen Next Entrepreneur are Anant Goenka, MD, Siat. Lakshvaman Sehegal, Director, Mother Son Sumi Systems. Prashant Bangar, Joint MD, Sri Cement. Radhika Piramal, Vice Chairman and Executive Director, VIP Industries. Ranjan Pai, Chairman, Manipal Education and Medical Group. Yogesh Agrawal and Rajesh Agrawal, MD, Joint MD, Ajanta Pharma. And the winner is Anant Goenka, MD, Siat. Our next category this evening is Value Creator. Here's a look at the nominees. The nominees for the Value Creator are Avanti Feeds, Capital First, Seat, Force Motors, Mahindra CIE, Quality India, Page Industries. And the winner is Avanti Feeds. that, let's uh, move on to the next set of awards. May I invite our presenters, Ronnie Skruvala, Chairman Abgrad, and Joy Chakrabarti, CEO Forbes India, and President Revenue Network 18. And I'd also like to invite on stage, Ranu Vora, CEO of Vendors Capital, to please give away this first award. The next award this evening is for the category, Best CEO Public Sector. Here's a look at the nominees. The nominees for the Best CEO Public Sector are Abhaya Prasad Hota, former MD and CEO, National Payments Corporation of India. Anup Kumar Mittal, Chairman and MD, NBCC India. B. Ashok, former Chairman, Indian Oil Corporation. Dinesh Saraf, CMD, Oil and Natural Gas Corporation. Indu Shekhar Jha, Chairman and MD, Power Grid Corporation of India. MV Gautama, CMD, Bharat Electronics. And the winner is Abhaya Prasad Hota, former MD and CEO, National Payments Corporation of India. The next category this evening is Best CEO Multinational Company. The nominees for the Best CEO Multinational are N.P. Singh, CEO, Sony Pictures Networks India. Pramit Javeri, CEO, Citibank India. Roland Folger, MD and CEO, Mercedes-Benz India. Suresh Narayanan, Chairman and MD, Nestle India. And the winner is Suresh Narayanan, Chairman and MD, Nestle India. And uh, may I also request uh, to join us on stage, Mr. Vikram Pava, President, BMW Group India. Our next category this evening is one that defines agility in action, intelligent inquisition, 
and progressive professionalism in the wake of competition and uncertainty. Let's take a look at the nominees. The nominees for the best CEO private sector are Ajay Srinivasan, CEO Aditya Birla Capital, Bhaskar Bhatt, MD and CEO Titan, HM Bharuka, MD Kansai Nerolak, Rajiv Jain, MD Bajaj Finance, Sunil Dugal, CEO Dabur, Varun Berry, MD Britannia Industries, Vivek Gambhir, MD and CEO Godrej Consumer Products, and the winner is Varun Berry, MD Britannia Industries. Now this brings us to the last set of awards at Forbes India Leadership Awards 2017. To present these awards, may I request to come on stage Mr. Harsh Mariwala, Chairman Mariko, George Chakrabarti, CEO Forbes India and President Revenue Network 18, and Saurav Majumdar, Forbes India. The next category this evening is Entrepreneur with Social Impact. Here's a look at the nominees. The nominees for the Entrepreneur with Social Impact are Chetna Sinha, Founder Mandeshi Mahila Sahakari Bank, Dhruv Lakra, Founder and CEO Miracle Couriers, H. Harish Hande, Chairman Selco India, Radha Ramaswamy Basu, CEO I Merit, Rajneesh Dhal, MD, Micro Housing Finance Corporation Limited, Umesh Malhotra, Co-Founder and CEO, Hippocampus Learning Centers, Vineet Rai, Founder, Avishkar IntelliCap Group. And the winner is Chetna Sinha, Founder, Man Deshi Mahila Sahakari Bank. Please put your hands together for Chetna Gala Sinha, Founder, Man Deshi Mahila Sahakari Bank. leader who actually brings in a lot of changes for the good, uh, big moves, uh, something very different and it ultimately results in high growth and hopefully higher profits. Our next award this evening is handpicked unanimously by the jury. There are no nominations and no words of appreciation can do justice to the contribution of personalities of such stature to the entrepreneurial ecosystem in India. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor to call on stage last year's recipient of the same award to help us give away the award this year. Please put your hands together for non-executive chairman of CIPLA, Mr. Y.K. Hamid. Please put your hands together for the recipient of Forbes India Leadership Awards 2017 Lifetime Achievement. My father, in many ways, epitomizes the Godrej brand. I think he's built it uh, with his hard work and great commitment over the last uh, over 50 years now working in the group. And I think Godrej certainly wouldn't be what it is uh, without him. He's been the driving force. Adi is the quintessential professional promoter. He is a lighthouse of Godrej values. He is one of the sharpest and smartest business leaders that I have ever worked with. He has a wonderful knack of rolling up his sleeves. Collective qualities of all of this make him a very, very inspiring leader to work with. Ladies and gentlemen, I think this 
one calls for a standing ovation, Mr. Adi Godrej, Chairman Godrej Group. Congratulations, sir. And now, for the final award this evening, but clearly not the least, the award for Entrepreneur of the Year at Forbes India Leadership Awards 2017. Here's a look at the nominees and the big winner tonight. The nominees for the Entrepreneur for the Year are Ajay Piramal, Chairman, Piramal Group and Sriram Group. Ajay Singh, Chairman and MD, SpiceJet. Hari Mohan Banga, MD, Shri Cement. Sanjeev Bajaj, MD, Bajaj Finser. Denu Srinivasam, Chairman and MD, TVS Motor Company. Vivek Chan Sehgal, Co-Founder, Samvardhana Madhasan Group. And the winner is Hari Mohan Bangar, MD, Shri Cement. Pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, to now draw your attention to the unveiling of the cover for the Forbes India Leadership Awards 2017 edition of the magazine. And with that, let me invite on stage CNBC TV 18's executive editor, Lata Venkatesh, for a quick chat with Mr. Bankar. Well, the last uh, item in any show is always so porific. So we decided that uh, we'll serve you dinner while we speak. So there is food and there is food for thought. Well, Mr. Bangur, uh, uh, I mean, it's a scintillating achievement. He started with 1.8 million ton cement plant in 2000 and today has a 28 million ton cement plant going on to 40 million tons. Right. Another interesting uh, trade about Mr. Bangur, which of course uh, has made him such a, a wealth generator, he has never issued capital. He started off with a share capital and has never issued shares. Uh, Mr. Bangur, is that a principle you follow? You will not dilute? No, I will not like to dilute because ultimately the firm has to work for shareholders. And if I increase the number of shareholders, I am somehow uh, decreasing the wealth of the present shareholder. Well, let me come to uh, your expansion. I believe you are also looking at global ambitions? Yes. Uh, now, de-risking yourself geographically also is important. So as the company is growing big and has enough cash, we are looking at acquisitions outside India. Mr. Bagur, I'm privileged and honored. Last year, I had the honor of speaking with uh, Mr. Yusuf Hamid. This year, I have the honor of speaking with the man of the moment, Mr. Bangur. Thank you very much for honoring Forbes India and honoring the award by accepting it. Uh, thank you thank for you, the kind words. Thanks a lot. Thank you. May I request um, all the award recipients and presenters and our jury to please come back on stage for a joint photo opportunity. I'd also like to invite on stage Avinash Kohl, Managing Director, AE Networks TV18 and President Strategy, Product and Alliances Network18 and Manish Maheshwari, CEO Network18 Digital to please join us on stage for this photo op. Transformational leadership is about changing things, whether it's a company or whether it's the, the nation, 
changing things based on the latest thinking, the latest requirements, and the latest needs. 